Welcome to a brand new series here on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, The Scary Hollywood Theory, where we examine the crazy speculations and theories regarding some of the most popular celebrities in Hollywood. From Kurt Cobain to Amy Winehouse to Paul Walker, there are countless theories and rumors about celebrities and celebrity culture. However, let's discuss one of the newcomers to the world of entertainment. Billie Eilish. Ever since she first stepped onto the scene, there have been countless conspiracy theories about the singer, from being a member of the Illuminati to even being the devil incarnate. This is the top 10 Billie Eilish The Scary Hollywood Theory. Also, be sure to stick around until the end of the video because there will be bloopers. I hope. Stick around, I will find a blooper. Let's jump in. Billie Eilish pirate Baird O'Connell on December 18th, 2001, she is an American singer and songwriter who has hit the big leagues at just the young age of 17. However, her following began long before. She gained a notable following in 2016 when she released her single Ocean Eyes on SoundCloud and subsequently released on the records labels Darkroom and Interscope Records. Now, her early life consisted of homeschooling, during which time she joined the LA Children's Chorus at the age of eight. Just a few short years later, Later, she would begin writing songs, taking after her elder brother, Phineas O'Connell, who was already writing, performing, and producing his own songs with his band. More interesting still, Billy's song Ocean Eyes was actually written by Phineas for his own band. Don't know about you, but I wouldn't be too happy about that. Now, here's where things begin to get fishy. Phineas is dating YouTuber Claudia Saluski, who looks a whole lot like Billy Eilish, which has led some fans to believe that Phineas is dating Claudia simply because she looks like his sister, especially considering how oddly close him and Billy are. Anyway, I digress. Back to Ocean Eyes. The song was released as Billy's debut single back in 2016, and the song was certified platinum not long after, peaking at number 84 on the Billboard Hot 100 in May 2019. That very same year, Billy also released the single Six Feet Under, which didn't do as well, but was still a success for the rising star. Following the huge success of Ocean Eyes, Billy released the single Bellyache on February 24, 2017, with the single Bored coming shortly after. After, which was used as part of the soundtrack to the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. However, her rise from the ashes came in 2018, arguably her biggest year along with 2019, which saw the singer embark on the Where's My Mind tour, as well as the release of her vinyl featuring an acoustic version of her song Party Favor, as well as a cover of Drake's Hotline Bling. Now in 2019, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go was finally released on March 29, 2019, with the album debuting at number one on the Billboard 200, as well as on the UK Albums Chart. In turn, making Billy the first artist born in the 2000s to have a number one album in the United States and the youngest female ever to have a number one album in the United Kingdom. Bold flex, big moves. Nothing but respect for my queen. However, her biggest flex would come when her fifth single, Bad Guy, was released in conjunction with her album, and it peaked at number one in the US, in turn ending Lil Nas X record breaking 19 weeks at number one with Old Town Road. She is also the youngest artist to perform at Coachella, surpassing Lord. Now, outside of music, Billie has a massive public image with constant media attention that tends to mostly focus on her fashion style, which consists primarily of baggy, ill fitting clothing, very Adam Sandler-esque. Back in 2017, Billie actually addressed the attention surrounding her style choices, saying that she likes dressing out of her comfort zone to feel like she grabs the attention of everyone around her. However, in 2019, Billie also appeared in a Calvin Klein ad, wherein she mentioned that she dresses in baggy clothes in order to prevent people from body shaming her. I respect that so much. Now, in her personal life, Billie has stated that she actually has Tourette syndrome, which is a common neurodevelopment disorder characterized by multiple motor tics and at least one vocal tic. She also has synesthesia in which people associate colors with numbers, even music. Billie also has previously stated that she was raised vegetarian and is a big advocate for veganism on social media. Now, let's jump into the meat of this video, why we're all here. The scary theory surrounding this artist. As we know, every now and then, a conspiracy theory pops up that just refuses to go away. This is one of those. The Illuminati is one of the biggest theories around, with many believing that the world's most powerful people secretly 
control the world. Ridiculous right? Well, according to some theorists, the latest member of the society is none other than Billie Eilish. Now this is entirely based on the imagery used in Billie's music video All the Good Girls Go to Hell, which strongly features apocalyptic type imagery. And ever since its release, fans have taken to Twitter to discuss how convinced they are that Billie is in the Illuminati. I quote, So Billie Eilish single handedly brought the Illuminati back in 2019. And she's in the Illuminati, there's no point kicking off about it because it ain't gonna change anything. And Billie Eilish is the new face of the Illuminati, I guess. I guess. However, other folks went in a different direction with the theories, with one person stating, I quote, All good girls go to hell and bury a friend feature satanic messages. On Reddit, people have come up with their own theories as well, specifically about how Billy may be involved with the Illuminati. Now, this theory is utterly twisted, with the theorist stating that Billy may have indirectly killed late rapper XXS Tentacion, which thereby influenced the song Bury a Friend. The theory also says that in order to gain entry into the secret society, the candidate has to kill someone. So there we go. At the end of the day, it seems like these rumors are simply that. Rumors. And that Billy is likely not a part of the Illuminati. At least, I don't think so anyway. After all, if the group really did exist and she actually was a member, would she make it so obvious? Well, there we have it. You guys fans of Billie Eilish, what do you think of our new series, The Scary Hollywood Theory? And who would you like us to cover next? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen vid. Until next time, see you later. Put that jacket on, boy. <laughs> None of it makes sense. In the United States. <laughs> However, her biggest flex would come. How oh, do you like all the flex? Oh, well, I'm losing the words, guys. And it peak. Whoa, devil's coming out. She's getting old.